What's up guys and welcome to another video. My name is Frank and I react to metal music and today I'm here with something interesting because uh, this kind of kind of went down my radar uh, because it's from last year 2022 but uh, actually Nemotula did uh, a little bit of an interview uh, on uh, J Mello NHK uh, TV in Japan and uh, you know same as um, Love Bites. Uh, I think it's the same program, uh, same uh, TV show they went to write and um, Actually, they, they did an interview with the same interviewer as well, seems like. <laughs> very interesting, right? Let's see how they interact together with interviews and stuff. So, very curious about this one. But before I start, please uh, consider subscribing to the channel, click this video, give me a like and a comment. If you have more suggestions for me, just want to share whatever. Let's start. Five members of Nemophila started working together in 2019. They're known for heavy, hard-rocking instrumentals and piercing vocals from their frontwoman, Mayu. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. True. They're also known for sweet, relaxed MCing. Because of that culture, unusual nasally voice from Slacky there. And <laughs> from hell. When they started working together, they were restricted by the coronavirus pandemic. Yeah. That was kind of unfortunate timing. Video streaming. Content such as online only performances and cover videos has generated lots of attention Japan Japan cover. <laughs> and around the world. I think it's good and I, right? And it's brought their channel more than 35 million views. Oh yeah. <laughs> in July, Nemophila thrilled fans in Los Angeles at their first show outside Japan. They've become one of the hottest bands on the metal scene. In a very short time as well. Kind of impressive. Nemophila <laughs> I mean, that's true. Kind of weird that she says that like, like this, you know what I mean? But yeah, definitely true. That's super cool. In Japan, they sure love their contrast you know what i mean like cute mixed with aggressive and stuff like that Sup, that's a bit girly <laughs> <laughs> that makes me soft and fluffy. I, I kind of get the impression, uh, watching this interview so far, that the um, translation is a little bit scuffed because uh, Tamu said that uh, we are uh, an aggressive and we are an aggressive band and that is okay, but uh, she said also we are very cool. That sounds a little bit out of place for a Japanese person to define themselves cool since usually they are very modest. You know what I mean? But maybe that's a pitch that their um, pro producers gave them to say, you know what I mean? But uh, they are definitely super cool, of course, that, that is definitely true. And um, this, this thing that they mixed fluffiness and cuteness with aggressive stuff, uh, it's uh, super Japanese as well, right? And because a lot of Japanese bands um, that are more, more well-known nowadays mix cute elements with very aggressive elements i feel like if you are just super aggressive and super traditionally metal in japan you are not really set for success you know what i mean 
you need to have that cute aspect, especially if you are a full female band like they are, you know what I mean? So yeah, but uh, either way, they are incredibly good as uh, musicians and I really love them as a band, so that's okay, but you know what I mean? <laughs> and that definitely in the opera is one of my favorite bands that I discovered on the channel for sure. ま、それぞれ好みは結構分かれてるんですけども、キスとか、え、ま、メタリカのカバーなんかもやらせてもらってるんですけども、え、そういうアーティストをやってるんですけども、で、by the way, I just watched um, a couple of uh, Instagram stories from uh, the members of the band and they finally, finally got to play at uh, Neon Yahon, Neon Yahon in uh, the, you know, the festival that uh, Saki always plays in with uh, a live audience because I remember they played there like a couple of years ago during the Ron outbreak, you know what I mean? And of course, um, they just played there without uh, the audience because the people couldn't be there. And uh, that's uh, very, very cool to see that they finally got the chance to play there, but uh, normally, you know, with the live audience and everything else. Uh, that's very, very cool. ここでこう、いっぱい並んでる方たちを見まして、すごいそこまでラブを根も平に対してすごいラブを抱いてくれてるって思ったら、やっぱエクスタシーを全身で感じてもらいたいなと思って全力でライブしました。ロサンゼル
It's got that kind of a set vibe to it for sure. It's like a ray of light. Yeah, they really don't. Like their music, their music is an amalgamation of different, a lot of different stuff. That's why some songs of them I really love, and some others I like. Meh, meh. And they definitely toured this year. I think I got they're gonna tour again, so you know what I mean? Yeah, definitely getting back at it. But yeah, this this part I muted it because of course it was just a song and uh maybe I will react to the song in a separate video. And that wraps it up for this edition of J Mello. If you'd like to watch past editions, just scan the QR code on the screen. This thing with the QR code we'll is very cool, by the way. <laughs> Until then, sayonara. Sayonara. But yeah, man, this band is super duper cool. I love them. And um, even though, like, I wouldn't say I love every single song they make because they have, uh, as they were saying in the, in the um, interview, they have a vast difference uh, between music genres in their music. So one song could be super metal. Uh, super fast and stuff like that. Another song could be super mellow and uh, slower. Another song could sound like 90s uh, new metal. Another song could sound like pop music even, you know what I mean? Pop music with a little bit of rock in the back and stuff like that. So um, I would say that I like like 70-75% of their music. And some, some songs, uh, I, I don't hate them, but I'm not as crazy about as others like of course i really like dissension i really like a ray of light i really liked um the latest music video they made i don't remember that, that i love that song um i really like oiran you know i really like those songs because i have a little bit of that more melodic metal vibe to them you know they're a bit more aggressive but some others uh, like for example night flight uh, I like I like it, but I don't love it. You know what I mean? It's got a little bit of that uh, 80s uh, poppy sound to it. I'm not not crazy about that kind of a sound, and um, uh, other songs even. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, I generally really like the band, and I love them like as musicians, like Saki and uh, Tamu Murata. I really love them a lot. They are they are incredible, uh, and. Uh, as I said in a lot of videos, Saki and Tamu are respectively my favorite guitarist from Japan and my favorite drummer from Japan so far. They're like between the all the other music that I heard so far. So you, you, you can tell that I really, really, really love them. And I really like um, my scream vocals and vocals in general because she's got a little bit that um, raspy in her voice, a raspy rock tone in her voice and uh, her scream is super high pitched and super aggressive, I love it. But, um, you know, I, I can tell that a lot of the music they, they get out is not written by them because uh, you know that if they wrote a lot of music, uh, uh, like every single song they, they, they played that was written by them would be a lot harder, a lot more aggressive, you know what I mean? Because as, uh, as Mayu were saying in the interview, they like heavy stuff. So of course they have those heavy influences. And if you, for example, listen to Mary's Blood, the band that Saki was in before, their music is uh, very, very fast and very aggressive usually, you know what I mean? So I, I picture Saki to write music like that, you know? So when I hear a song like Night Flight, I go like, hmm, are we sure this was, this was written by them? Hmm, you know what I mean? But sorry if I'm um, trashing of a night flight so much. There are actually another another couple of songs that I'm not crazy about, but I still like them. You know what I mean? In general, I still like them. Uh, but yeah, guys, I really like this band for sure. Uh, Nemophila is um, one of my favorites, together with uh, Love Bites and uh, Visual Key bands. You know, like Devil Wolf and um, 
and deck score and stuff like that. And of course, there is a band made which plays a hard rock mainly, and they are definitely my art, uh, my favorite hard rock band so far. <laughs> yeah. Hey yeah, guys, if you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel, give me a like and a comment if you have more suggestions for me, just want to share, whatever, and definitely we'll see each other in the next one. Rock on.